Alright, is he back to facing the other way? Oh. Still looking kind of angry. That works. Gotcha. <sighs> Good call on the oil. Thank you. The oil and fire. That helped a lot. That's probably probably the uh, tactic I was missing. <laughs> is can I get back over here ow ow nope <laughs> at least we killed him yeah I wasn't gonna go back the uh, the gun port route got two beads All right. So we've killed the snake. You know what? Let's go back to Kuru, see if he's made that rice thing he was talking about. That special dish. Also have some sake to give to someone. Just don't know who to give it to. Sorry to keep you waiting, Wolf. Come now. Hold out your hand. My lord. Sweet rice ball. Sweet sticky rice ball made by Kuro. Using rice from the child of rejuvenation. Slowly grants medium vitality recovery and constant posture recovery over, over time. Once the wolf was starving. His father wordlessly handed him a rice ball. It was astoundingly delicious. This one is sure to taste just as good. So is this a reusable? Sweet sticky rice balls. I made them with the rice from the divine child. Eat it. Don't Sweet sticky rice balls. <laughs> so obviously a consumable, but is it reusable or is it just a one time use? There are two types of rice balls. One that you get two of, that's the one you get right now. It's not reusable. Not eat it. Okay. <laughs> Too shy to eat it in front of me? Well, that's fine, too. It's a sweet, sticky rice ball made from the rice you gave me. Eat it. Don't be shy. You're leaving, Wolf. I'm counting Second best you. healing item in the game. If you, can if you can never use it. Is 
is the second best healing item in the game if you can never use it, use it infinitely in price of practice. But I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Nice. Now, do we give her the drink? Bye. Is there any point to giving people sake other than just exposition and story time? get another kind of rice ball after you light the end. Okay. Hold on. It's a sweet to eat it. Don't be shy. Okay. You can use both kinds in one bite. Okay. I'm glad you've come, Master. That's not what I meant. Let's see. That could be useful. I don't even know what gauntlets are, so. <laughs> Divine Grass is the best healing item. Ah, lets you tank a lot of damage. Which is pro it's a powerful heal over time. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. I'm trying to remember how to get to what's his name, the old man, Ishtina. I remember which one is the best way to get there. Yeah. I want to give him, I want to give him the sake that I have. Have the Ashina sake to give to someone. Don't remember how to get there. <laughs> so we got up here. So if I remember correctly, it's over here. Hostile force detected. Arming raid defenses. Hey. What's up, Sarah? Thank you for the raid. How you doing? Get you a shout out real quick. How was your stream? Either this building or that building. 
Let's see. You're playing Phasmophobia. Yeah. There he is. Sekiro. Is that the mortal blade? It is. What are the rumors? According to the divine child of the inner sanctum, anyone who draws the mortal blade will meet death. Which means only one such as you can wield it then. When I drew out the blade and saw its crimson edge, I too died once. I see. <laughs> the crimson edge. Listen, yes, Sekiro. Yes, Sekiro. The mortal blade. You can now kill the undying. A truly terrifying weapon. Don't you think? What are you trying to say? That sword is now yours. Who or what will you kill? You must be sure of the answer before drawing it. It's your favorite line from Destiny 2's new raid, and I... How you doing? Street's been good. Um, we're kind of back in exploration mode. Um, we were beaten our head against the uh, headless eight or no guardian eight last night and then the headless and decided to get a little bit stronger first before going back after him. So back in exploration mode, we killed the giant snake. So we also beat one of the snake eyes, killed a headless and yeah, we're just exploring now. I'll, as infuriating as the Guardian Ape fight is, it's an hilarious fight. He farts on you and he flings his poo at you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. You give Saki to Austin. To Ishin and you have to fight him. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. You're going to bounce on that statement? I don't want to kill this guy. He's cool. Okay. Okay. So... Time for Google. Okay. How to get sake and what it's used. Okay. Any of that. That's a useful guide there. So apparently we don't give this to Ishin. You're leaving, Sekiro. So apparently we give Sheena to either Emma or the Sculptor. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Last half of the game is way easier than the middle part for me. I mean, what part would you say I'm in now? I brought sake. Oh my, that is generous. Based on what you see so far. I, I accept. Ah, 
delicious. As a doctor, I do have other uses for sake beyond just drinking. For purification? Yes. It can also help with those with a low tolerance for pain. But when I was a child, I couldn't stand the smell of it. You've been doing medical work ever since you were a child? Yes. I wanted to be of use to my mentor, Master Dogen. I used to compete with my fellow disciples to treat patients. In those days, arrow and sword wounds were frightfully common. I see. And they're not now? What's wrong? It's nothing. Sometimes, Shinobi would come for treatment as well. There was once a rather difficult patient. Difficult in what way? Well, he said very little. I didn't know where he was hurt or how much pain he was in. I had no information to go on. It was maddening. I see. None of this sounds familiar to you. What? No, nothing. Nothing at all. She's talking about me. Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow... Yeah. So we have seven gourds now. Where should we go next? You mentioned the Guardian Apes, and I would say that's halfway through. See, I've never played the Souls games. Like, I, I, the original Dark Souls, I played, like, the first hour of. And because back then, I, did, I didn't really get into Souls. It wasn't my thing back then. I'm kind of dipping my toe in it. So... I think I picked a good one to dip my toe in with. Didn't like Dark Souls 1 through 3. They weren't as fun as Demon Souls. The Demon Souls remake isn't really good in my experience, really. Opinions really small, and not many people like my opinions. <laughs> yeah, people don't have to like your opinion. Just like you don't have to give a shit that they don't like your opinion. That old lady is gone. Who was there before? Like the worst Final Fantasy for me is Final Fantasy VII, and all its remakes and remasters are terrible. I would say Final Fantasy VII is. probably number three for me. On the Final Fantasy series. So my favorite Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy VI. Let's 
Fantasy for me. It's Final Fantasy VI, IX, and then seven. No, that was nine. That was nine. That was Zidane. Yeah, I would have thought there was something else over this way, but it's not. And we did get uh, more scales, but... Played one through three back on the NES. I played one through four when I was a kid. I don't think I ever played five. Yeah, 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 I did, but later in life. I played one through four when I was a kid, like little kid. And I didn't really get into it back then because I was so little, I didn't grasp the concept of it and I couldn't figure it all out because uh, I was very young. Like, we're talking like four, five, six era. And Final Fantasy VI is where it all clicked. Yeah. Six was with Kafka. Yeah, you're right. Celeste and Terra and uh, Sabin. Edgar, Snake Eyes, aka Shadow. Um, but six is where it all came together for me, like being able to understand the game and knowing what I was supposed to do, figuring it out. But then I had the cognitive skills to do so. See, for me, it's more about the journey of getting somewhere than the actual ending. A game could have a shit ending and I could still enjoy it. I'm simple that way. I find it really funny how you're trying to level up your heroes and stuff, and then halfway through the journey, the spell he was casting, casting finished, and doomed the whole world. That's the turning point in the game. For the story, st story, story really starts to take off for me. 
Yeah, the plot twist. Okay, apparently I haven't been here. Spear is very close. Okay. Shut up. I'm guessing it's in there. Seven days in cyberpunk. Yes. Yes. I am so ready for cyberpunk. I, I'm just I, I can't decide on what faction I want to play as first. Corpo, Street Kid, or Nomad. You know? Can't decide. Leaning towards Corpo or Nomad first. What's up, Shinobi? You pre-ordered Cyberpunk today? Oh, yeah. Why is that funny? I mean, that's what they should do. That's what most developers do. Like, people have been banned for Twitch for doing that. Ah, okay. Hey. Why can't I stab you? Big Mama. <laughs> 